lodge finds, striking station names, and captivating coastal views. These are what Choshiden Tetsu, also known as Choshiden, is known for. From Tokyo Pass 3, this is Mijal, and I'm going to show you some of the most delightful experiences you can have when you go on a Choshiden Railroad Adventure. Choshiden runs in Chiba along 10 stations, from Choshi to Tokawa. Our first stop is Kanon Station, named for, well, the Kanon statue that can be found in Empukuji Temple, which is around 5 minutes away from the stop. The temple actually encourages you to lie down on the tatami mat so that you can fully appreciate its magnificent ceiling. Once you exit the temple, make sure you go to Sanaya, where you can get a hold of yummy bean paste cakes. Each one is filled with smooth azuki bean paste and it's so good, you just have to try it. Next stop, Kimigahama Station. This station was once known for its resident stray cat, which locals took to calling Kimi-chan. Kimi-chan is sadly no longer around, but there's a memorial plaque in the station premises. Kimigahama is also known for Shiyosai Park, reportedly where the sun first rises in Japan. As welcoming the first sunrise is a New Year's tradition in the country, many people flock to this area on the first day of the year. Close to Kimigahama Station is Inobo, where a lighthouse of the same name can be spotted. When people mention Choshi, it's usually this lighthouse that comes to mind. This colorful station is also where you can try your hand at making soy sauce flavored rice crackers and couple it with locally brewed beer. Oh, and Inobo is also where you can find Sekaiga Marumiya Oka. It's a building with an observation deck, which is pretty much ordinary, except that people have actually gathered here to call out to aliens. Say what? Yeah, we Japan, weird. And finally, at the very end of the line is Tokawa Station, where you can walk your way through overgrowth to find that. Yeah, that. This is Chobokuri, and Choshi being a port town, it's no surprise that they have a fish rind. But man, that thing is tacky. And take a look at these too. Like, what are these footprints for? If four people stand here, do they actually get to summon something? Like a magic harp, maybe? Good luck leveling that up. And that's it for Choshiden. On the way back to Choshi, you should probably stop by Nishi Ashikajima Station where you can have this glorious lobster tempura extravaganza at Ichiyama Ikesu. Choshiden is as odd as it gets, but it's the peculiarity of it that makes it one of my favorite train lines to explore. Until the next Tokyo Pass 3, this is Michelle. Happy 2019! Join me again next time as I explore more of Japan. See ya!